hey now welcome back to the channel guys and thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video um last time we messed around with quantum break we broke time and so you know now we're trying to figure out i guess how to fix it i don't know how to fix it so i hope these guys know how to fix it so let's just hop in let's see what they got for us um but before we go uh please make sure to like the video because that really really helps with a lot more stuff than you guys realize and it would mean a lot to me as well and subscribe if you're new you're having fun you want to see the rest of the series make sure to subscribe as well because there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming to the channel so without further ado guys i don't want to keep you let's go My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. Is it the older version of me? I've always been devoted to my mission. We're in the same jacket, same outfit. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. See, there he is. Future and past. All this. See, look. Oh. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transfer. Love this guy. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Different time of day? Now I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions. Clear, sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. Mr. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind... We'll go. The men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. Jack would never understand the necessity of what I'd done. It wasn't the death William deserved. But his knowledge posed too great a risk to our plan. So William Joyce was the brother Classification project consultant for Project Promenade, witness to core heist operation. Objective capture alive if possible, delivered to Paul Serene, who ended up deal with the issue at hand. Shooting a boy. Liam um, over there can explain the relevant background, the strange brother of Jack Royce, renowned physicist. Proposed assistance of Cronon Field at age 19, invented time, first time machine prototype, developed countermeasure, joined... Project Provodon as a consultant after death of Dr. Kim. Who's Dr. Kim? Couldn't tell you. Notable qualities. So this is just really just a breakdown of who William Joyce was. It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Hmm. Super cool. We had Jack in custody. It's all Jack's But I was starting to witness visions from the future, which made it clear that could change very soon. Civilian so witness of core highest operation. Capture live if possible. Deliver again to Paul Serene. Known friend of Paul before incident. Parents deceased. Raised self in teen years. His brother became distant. Paul. Criminal record in Massachusetts. The Grand Theft Auto. A little bit of weapons shenanigans. As a history of violent behavior. Huh. You hear about the library? Serene brought down the whole building just... Sir. <clears throat> Who is this? What's Liam Burke? Amy Ferrero. 
She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. Right, so not me. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. What? But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. The junction power reveals two potential futures. Your decision at each junction point will steer the stories of both the game and the live action show. Super cool. Choose wisely. Hold to show hardline. Hold to show PR. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait. Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses, it would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe. But the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Okay. That's the hardline approach. Kind of just can't have any witnesses, man. So let's see what PR. PR. I want to stay. And that violence was because of Jack. Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. <laughs> hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But... The eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. <coughs> okay, guys, what do you think? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna leave it up to you. Tell me down in the comments definitely which one you guys would choose based off those two videos. But basically, hardline is we take her down. No witnesses. No one saw what happened, but the the community bands together and calls him a murderer. Yada yada. So they're against Monarch, which would in a sense, also benefit Jack. Um, but also the PR thing does benefit him because they let her go so that they can be friend later and gain all of the information, knowing that it is Paul Serene. Like, that's huge. So, honestly, I'm going to go PR just for the fact that it's going to create some calmness so not everybody's on edge looking for people and all that stuff and then jack can befriend uh the, the lady here to gain a valuable information to know exactly who monarch is and yada 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 so that's my choice guys again let me know down below um what you think we can't risk any unwanted attention convince the witnesses not to talk Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. I mean, it's smart for him too, you know? Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Hmm. Smart. I mean, it's smart, man. Jack! There's no other way out. Going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Why was he shouting Jack? I use my power to guide us. <clears throat> to decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Oh, cool. It tells you what the community thought. So 65% of people agreed with that choice. That's kind of cool.
Oh, nice. This is the, like, live-action video that they created to go with it all. That's why this game's super cool. The one in the middle. I assume that's your mother. The left, of course, your father. And on the right, the little one. How old is she? Dang. One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate Michael. He's got a name, Michael. He did it. What took, do you want? Took that damn picture. I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. I like that guy's voice. He's in like the John Wick movies and stuff and some other things, but very entertaining. Okay, I'll do it. And it's great because this stuff right here is really the next part of the story that they're just showcasing in live action I'm form. I'm so glad we could work this out. Super cool. I forgot how cool this game was. <clears throat> Remedy Entertainment, baby. They are changing the game. With a green screen? God, these guys are planning ahead. Read from the thing. Don't look like you're crying. Even though she's been crying her eyes out for who knows how long. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important. You just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. <coughs> I'm sure your wife misses you. Yeah, Liam. Dang. Call your woman. Do it. Telling you. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And Stan, you need to chill out. What is that? <clears throat> what are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck? You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. You tell me what's next, Brenner? I, I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends in WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You could say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, 
He'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcock. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I've, I got a lock on his transpo. I mean, I packed into his camera and I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not, it's not, it's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. A traitor? traitor. Hello? Who could be the traitor? Well, I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Just... <clears throat> kind of great. I mean, is Liam not Joyce? They're wearing literally the same jacket. Jones, you were a cat. <laughs> a cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. It's kind of interesting that they're giving us like such a backstory on this character, too. Really, all, all of the characters so far. They're all side characters, too. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. Oh, no. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Well, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. So the whole boy's got a baby coming up. <laughs> Close your eyes. That work, man, coming in hot. <clears throat> it's okay, go. <sighs> busy, busy boy yeah. working for Monarch. Burke, you got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. Inside ground zero perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Yeah, at least tucked in his shirt. I didn't really realize that. I gotta go. That was long before they attempted that uh, experiment. In order to rebuild this great city, that. transforming it into an economic They did that stuff on purpose. Time. Yeah. 
Can't miss the bus, bro. Get to the bus. This doesn't look green screen at all. Not at all, guys. But it's fine. Industrial area two hours after fracture in time. Just last year, CEO Martin Hatt founded a technical institute right down the street from Monarch headquarters and has helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. Oh. There's been a development. Jack. You've already seen it. Tonight on the island. He'll be there, and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided to you. Your fifth column, traitor? We shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. <laughs> He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. It's like a movie and a game. It's smashed up together. Now is Amy Ferraro and I Because your decisions impact what, what going on here? this looks there like. Are people from our group who took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous. Is this, person. Is this the same girl? A terrorist. You bacon and egg sandwiches? Sounds like a terrifying thing down there. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. <laughs> but for real, who's this? Sup, IT. And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. Really doesn't. He's got a thing about his table. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what's the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. Ooh, IT guy's getting a girl. Good for him. OK. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. Oh. The girl you said, wear. yeah, I don't buddy, know. though. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. <clears throat> buddy. He, he heard it. Buddy. Popping bottles. No, just kidding. It's popping. Brooklyn sparkling water. Gotta hydrate. Also, guys, let me know down in the comments and stuff. If you want to watch these, let me know, because they definitely do pertain to the story. They basically bridge 
you know, the next set of what's happening and everything, so... I recommend it, but if you guys don't want him in here, let me know. I'll take him out. Liam, this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be Beth you. Beth Cooper? No, you need that's to the movie. To me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You've three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. Oh. No. No. No! Gosh, he's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. But, but, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? The of end time, of what? Of time, of time. The end of, of life, time. As we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Oh, Brown, hey. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding to I did not give home. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! Um, just do what he says. Do not okay. let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! I mean, shot him in the Kevlar, but it's fine. It's gonna hurt like a mother. Fatality. This lifeboat protocol. What is it? I don't know. But Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed notes. up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Do you think it was Paul? That burger looks fire, though. Oh, the egg. Thanks, Fiona. It's disgusting. Oh, big baby. That looks fire. I would have smashed. Just saying. Holy shit. Lambert. Can't make that out. I wouldn't hold up in a, a court of law. Gonna love this. Three hours after oh, fracture shit. in time. So this is pretty Fucking quick after boy. like everything really like happens. Because remember, Jack Joyce was in the back of that vein, captured from the initial incident. In incident. Gotcha. Did he safely eject? So if he didn't safely eject. That may or may not be a corrupted file. Just saying. Charlie. Personal experience. I need a favor. Yeah. Okay, um, can we talk somewhere in private? Uh, you'd really rather not. In I your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. So what happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh, there's nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there? Like... Or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks Joyce might go there. He sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure. Let me, uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that, uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because, I don't know, uh, Sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kinda looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch and that guy clearly <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. 
This yeah, guy is. Zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me! Because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm gonna do to you? I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's gonna do to you. In about 15, 14. Little tech boy. 13. Getting his what? What? 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Dude, this is heating up. I forgot how epic this is. I'm super excited to see how the rest B of the story near is. The main overpass. I haven't played anything in like ten minutes, maybe. Freaking watching a movie together, guys. This is great. Also, like and subscribe. I love you. Well, he threw, he threw the gun. You know. So we try to be nice, use this name, you know, be friends a little bit. superhero Brenner I'm dealing with it yeah I know I know <laughs> he's in the building yeah kind of like that techie dude he's kind of funny. it's crazy but he's funny. south parking structure I repeat south staircase. parking structure fourth floor those are those not on the same level every time they go down Of course, he has his driver in the Nissan 350Z, happily during the time. Because back when I played Need for Speed Most Wanted, that was the car that I drove all the time, and I loved it. Second floor! You gotta cut him off! Out of it. Baggins. Gate and guns. Through. Come on. Tokyo Drift. Nice. Okay, he's heading south on Eastman. South on Eastman. Change of directions, not a bad little Tokyo drift as well. Yeah, there's no reason for you to be in that lane. It's fine. Oh, no, that doesn't make sense. Two Man, yellow lanes, two He's yellow flying. lines means this one, not off. both go in one direction. Is that how that works? Come on, you got this. Are they in Canada? Tell me about that license plate made me think. Dude, just be chill. Be chill. Or take a hard left. Oh. Captured. Freaking captured. Liam, dude. End of episode one?
Okay, guys, I know that wasn't what you were expecting. I think you were expecting some more actual, like, gameplay choices, getting to see some of the movements and stuff like that, which is fine. But that has us here, man. End of episode one. I'm, I totally forgot that that's how this game was structured with the, the live action videos. Very, very cool. Very, very excited to see what happens next. So, guys, please stay tuned for some more. I'm going to end it here just for now, um, but I'm going to start right back up with the start of episode two. Have a good night. May the force be with you.